Next, we are going to look at what is called approaches to biomimicry. An approach to biomimicry is how you get started on doing biomimicry. And there are two approaches based on the starting point. One is called nature to solution. Nature to solution is when you start with looking at nature, look at what nature does, extract that principle or strategy and use it in the human world to solve a problem. That is the nature to solution approach. The example of that is of course the lotus leaf that you have encountered earlier. You look at the lotus leaf, you see that it stays clean, you find out how does it stay clean. You look, Use that principle of staying clean in order to solve a problem in the human world which could be paint for the exteriors of buildings. So that is the nature to solution approach. The other approach is the problem to solution approach. Now the problem to solution is the regular problem solving approach where you are confronted with a problem and then you, you ask yourself, how do I go about solving the problem? You look to nature and find out if nature has a strategy or a principle that you can use in order to solve the problem. The example of that is the bullet train that you encountered earlier. Now the bullet train was making a huge noise when it passed through the tunnel. The engineers were wondering how to solve the problem. So they had a problem in front of them, which they didn't know how to solve. They looked to nature. They saw the kingfisher and the kingfisher's beak, which helps it do a splashless dive. And they used the same principle in order to solve the problem of the noise that the bullet train makes. So that is a problem to solution approach. Let's look at the nature to solution approach first. So in the nature to solution approach, I'm going to use this example of the lotus leaf again. And this table to kind of take you through the se sequence of what happens. So the, in the case of the lotus leaf, the organism is of course the lotus plant. What is the trait? The trait, what is the meaning of a trait? A trait is any characteristic or attribute or behavior or process that the organism exhibits. If you notice this very closely linked to what you encountered earlier about mimicking. A trait is any internal or external structure, an attribute or a characteristic that the organism has that you can observe. So in the case of the lotus leaf, the trait is the microscopic bumps on the surface of the leaf. What is the function of these uh, bumps on the leaf? To repel water, could also say to stay clean. And what is the strategy that it employs in order to accomplish that function? The strategy that it employs is the microscopic bumps, reducing the contact area between water and the leaf, therefore repelling water and therefore the water rolling off the leaf and the dust and the dirt being washed away along with it. Briefly, that is the biological strategy that the lotus leaf uses in order to stay clean. Remember, we are doing nature to solution. So this is the principle. This is the principle or the strategy that you have observed as part of observing the lotus leaf. And then you ask yourself, is there an application in the human world and the application is, of course, paints. One of the applications is paints for the exteriors of buildings. And the company called Lotus and Paints has done that, of course. So a summary of the nature to solution approach could be that a lotus leaf can be the biological model for the design of paints. Let's understand nature to solution with another example. And for this, we are going to look at a video first of a company called Whale Power. The link is posted below this recording, so you can pause this recording and look at the video. The company Whale Power has used an interesting trait of humpback whales in order to do something. And the video will tell you exactly what. So how did Nature to Solution work in the case of Whale Power? The organism, of course, was the humpback whale. The trait of the humpback whale that they looked at 
is the bumps on the leading edge of the flipper. On the front of the flipper of the humpback whales, there are these small bumps which are called tubercles. And what is the function of the, that trait? What is the function of the tubercles? Is to help the whale swim better. What is the strategy, therefore, that is being employed here? Briefly, the strategy is to allow the whale to grip the water better. Using that strategy, looking at this trait and using that strategy, is there a problem that can be solved in the human world? Whale power decided that it would be wind turbines. So that's the nature to solution approach as whale power did it. So they use the tubercles as a biological model to create wind turbines. Again, you can, you can look at other examples to understand nature to solution better. And to get you started, I'm going to ask you to look at a video, link to which is posted below this recording as well, using shark skin to fight against bacteria. Well, it's a very short video, but the intention is to help you understand the nature to solution approach better. So look at the video and try and fill up this table according to what you saw earlier. Again, you can you know, look at other examples as well. Go ahead and record them in your biomimicry diary. So you will start getting a hang of how this nature to solution approach works. The second approach to biomimicry is the problem to solution approach. As we saw the classical approach to problem solving where you are faced with a problem then you look to nature to see if you can solve this problem using a principle from nature. Now for the problem to solution approach, the, the, the way of for that you can use the problem to solution approach in biomimicry is by applying the biomimicry design spiral. That's the biomimicry process, which you have been briefly introduced to earlier. You start with defining the problem. You look at you go through a sequence of steps and come up with a solution. Of course, you may iterate through those steps, but you go through a sequence of steps, you go through the process in order to arrive at a solution. So you have a problem, you look to nature to solve it, and you come up with a solution. That is the problem to solution approach. Let's look at that with an example from how a student applied the biomimicry design process, the biomimicry design spiral, in order to solve a problem. 